Hi everyone, it's Hatsuki. Um, <clears throat> hello, it's Hatsuki, Emmer Salad. Um, so, I know, I haven't made like an actual video in a very, very long time. So, here I am. Now, after the crisis of COVID-19, cons are finally starting to come back around, which is very exciting. But I figured, why not come back with a video that's very relevant to the topic of us all gathering together and that is not smelling bad. You haven't seen your friends in two years. You don't want to come back smelling bad, right? So I am going to post a little tutorial of how I wash my fursuit considering MFF is in a couple of weeks and I am washing my fursuit to go to MFF so I'm not stinky. Now some of this stuff may vary per person considering I have a phoenix nest suit. I know how to wash my suit properly um, just based off of the quality of my suit and um, the fact that my suit is eight and a half years old. So the way I do things may vary a little bit, but I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm going to go over like the safest products to use, um, washing machine safety, I am going to go over my green machine Bissell and what I put in it, um, and I'm going to go over how to keep your fursuit safe while you are washing it with the correct materials. Alrighty, so voice over time, let's go. So here I have my bodysuit, and as you can see, I'm turning it inside out. This is very important if you're putting your bodysuit in the washing machine because it keeps the fur a lot safer. Because regardless if you put it on delicate, washing machines can be very harsh on the fur, but most bodysuits are machine washable. So if you turn it inside out, make sure that detergent hits the inside of the bodysuit first before the actual fur. So that's what I am doing here. Once it is inside out like this, then you can put it into your washing machine. And with the paws, you can just kind of throw them in there. Doesn't really matter. And then once your paws are in there, go ahead and stuff that inside out bodysuit into there, just like you normally would. And then you should be good to go. Then you just close your washing machine. Here's the kind of detergent I use in the washing machine for my fursuit. I use the Soap Pony brand. You don't want to go too heavy on the detergent so it doesn't make your fur sticky. So just add a couple seconds of pouring in there. Alrighty, this part is very important. Once you're actually running the washing machine, you are going to set it to delicate. And then you want to make sure it is on cold specifically because the fur is plastic and it could burn. Now you're going to go to a very low spin cycle. Remember the fur is delicate, it is plastic, so we want to be as careful as we can with the washing machine. Personally, I like to watch my suit just for the first couple of minutes to make sure the washing machine is working properly and to make sure everything's good, nothing's damaged. So I just kind of sit here for like five minutes to make sure everything's working properly. Alright, so after your bodysuit's done in the wash, you are going to hang it up and brush it. This is the brush I use, it has two different sides. One's more slick, and then the other one's got prongs to get those knots out without damaging the fur, so you can find this at any pet store. You can use any other kind of brush, just make sure to be careful with the prongs. I use my pronged side first, and then I use the soft bristle side, because I want to get the knots out first, and then I use the other side to make my fur a little more soft. And you can definitely see a difference here with using two different types of brushes. And for example, this is why you need to brush your suit right after the wash. The one on the left is brushed, the one on the right is unbrushed, and you can see all those mats and how icky it looks and crusty, and it will dry like that if you don't brush it after washing it. So definitely take the brush to it right after the wash. After it's all brushed, I just throw everything up on a rack in my closet to dry. If you are putting your suits in a closet, make sure to have air circulating and to leave the door open. Now to prep the head. Now, regardless if your eyes are sealed, you want to cover them just to be safe with toilet paper, paper towel, whatever. I just fold up some toilet paper. I put it in there just to make sure the eyes don't get wet, you know, just in case the paint wants to run off. So this is a Bissell green machine. It's about $90, but let me tell you, it is a game changer. This is the detergent I have in there at the moment. If you're going to use wool light, just make sure it's delicate. Otherwise, it could hurt the fur. I just put a couple drops up here in the cap. And this left side of the Bissell here just yoink, comes out like that. You're going to unscrew the bottom, put your wool light in, and dilute it with a bunch of water. You don't want it to just be straight wool light. Make sure it's cold and pop it right back in. On the right side over here, 
that's where all of your dirty water goes from this part of the Bissell. You got a little trigger down here, you pull that, water comes out of this part, and you just lightly spray it onto your suit. Afterwards, you're gonna take the little sucky part right here, and you're gonna slowly run it over the spot that you just sprayed. And it sucks it all up and puts it on the right side of the Bissell. Here's the power button on and off. Alrighty, for the last bit here, I'm going to demonstrate on a foot paw since the head's a little more complicated. So I did that off camera. As I said before, you pull the trigger, water comes out of the little spout. You can use the little scrub to scrub it in, which I like to do since I have indoor feet paws. Get all that dirt out of there. Deer's falling down. That's when you're going to take the clear end and you're going to slowly suck up all that water. You can see all the gross that's coming out of the feet paws. And you're going to just do that over a couple of times to get all of that soap out over the whole foot paw. And see, look at that difference. That's the bissled side, not bissled. You can see how much brighter and more vibrant it is especially with wool light, but again, only use the wool light if it's delicate. So then just go over the rest of the foot paw like this. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby. I would like to mention as well, this is the exact same procedure you would do for the head, the hands, the tail, whatever else you want to bissel. I'm just demonstrating on the feet paws just because it's easier for recording. And then once you're done, you're going to take out that right side of the Bissell, and that is all of your crust from your crusty fursuit. And then up at the top here, you're just going to dump it and you're going to put it back in. Alrighty, that is all. Thank you for watching.